hands in the air. Huh? Did you hear that? Uh, no! That was definitely someone in trouble. It came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure hoarders have locked someone inside. Motion to compel! You're open! Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Aw, oh, it was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry, I will compensate you both. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package! From your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, 
it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep! It's great! Hang on a moment. Could we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. This is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which... Are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyeun Karst. Oh, it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, too. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianxuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Uh, wait! Was Vergoldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergoldet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <laughs> hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? 
I fear that peaking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, to play the spider while our foes scurry about. But who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? talking about well answered uh, uh -huh. <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed but the wind is a little strong our preparations to receive guests within are complete so please this way <laughs> 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 